In this video, you'll see how to create a quick pivot table and then make simple changes to it so you get a different view of the data with just a few clicks. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In this workbook, I have a table with food sales data. So we've got when it was sold, where, what was sold, how much, and how much we earned, and the number of orders. I'm going to create a quick pivot table, and then we'll play with it a bit to see different layouts. To start the pivot table, I'm going to select any cell in this table where we have the data. Then go to the Insert tab and click Recommended Pivot Tables. And here we can see some sample layouts. If you click on one, you'll see a bigger view. So it's taken our data and showing different ways we can arrange it. I'm going to start with something simple. I would like to see for each city the quantity of products that we sold. So I'll click OK. And Excel adds a new sheet to the workbook with the pivot table that we selected. So here we have cities and then the quantity that we sold in each city. When you have a pivot table cell selected, over at the right, you should see a pivot table field list. I'm going to point to the title of that and just drag it closer to the pivot table so it's easier to use. Now I can see all the fields that were in my table of sales data. And down at the bottom, we've got filters, columns, rows, and values. City is in the rows, and here it says row labels, and there are all the cities. And beside that, we have our values, the sum of quantity. So that's the simple pivot table that we created. And next, we'll change the way it looks a bit. When we created the pivot table, we selected a layout with city and quantity. And now I've changed my mind. I would rather look at the categories here instead of cities. So I'm going to remove this check mark for city. Put a check mark on category, and because that's a text field, Excel automatically puts it into the rows area. So now we have new headings down this column. We can see the total quantity for each category of food. So that's one simple change to our pivot table is to remove a field and add a different field. For the next quick change, I would like to see this broken down by region. So over here, I'm going to click Region. And again, it's a text field, so Excel automatically puts it in the row area. I would like that as headings across the top instead. So here's Region. I'm going to point to that and just drag it and move it into the Columns area. And now we can see still our same food categories, and now East and West, the total in each of those, and a grand total. So another quick change with just a few clicks. For the next change, I'm going to add another value. Right now we're showing quantity. And in our fields here, I would like to also see how many orders we had for each of the categories. So I'll check order count. That puts it into the values area. And we've got quite a wide pivot table now. I'm going to take out these grand totals, so I'll right click, remove grand total, and now we just have the total in each region. So for east, quantity and order count, then west, quantity and order count. For the next pivot table change, I'm going to keep the same fields, but rearrange them. So here we have east and west and the totals. And if we look in the field list in columns, there's a new field now that Excel automatically created because we have more than one value field. We have a values field here. And I'm going to move that into the rows area. So I'll drag it and put it below category. So now instead of a pivot table that's a bit wide, we have one that's taller and narrower. And for each of the categories, we can see the quantity and the order count. 
Another quick change would be to get all the quantities together and all the order counts. And to do that, I'm going to take the values, move it above category, and now all the quantities are together and all the order counts. So those are just a few of the quick ways that you can rearrange a pivot table, get something that makes sense for the report that you need, and you can always change it quickly for the next report. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.